All right, hello and welcome to Ethan's Garage. Tonight we have sort of a surprise video, not when I was planning, but I was driving here through Beverly Hills and even this, this town has some surprises for me. All right, so let's start looking through this little collection here, starting at the back. We have this really epic uh, sort of matte army green Land Rover Defender. Uh, hard to tell the exact vintage on it just because they kind of all look the same for this generation, but it's pretty obvious that this one's been heavily modified. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like an LS or something under the hood. You never quite know, but probably a good six figures for this thing. Uh, I mean, I would, I would guess that if nothing else, just from what's next to it. All right, moving forward to this collection, we have the MC20 in sort of matte white. Also, I don't know what the deal is, but there's a guy in the dealership. I don't know if he's security or what the deal is. There's a guy who came up in a McLaren. I'll insert the clip now. Who seemed to call him on the phone. It was very weird. Also, we've got the Bugatti Veyron. I believe this is the 16.4, one of the early ones. I'm not sure exactly the year, but definitely one of the older Veyrons. Tell it doesn't have any LEDs in the headlights or anything like that. We have the Rolls Royce Ghost, the new one. Hard to see it over there, but there's a Rolls Royce Cullinan with aftermarket like Forgiato or some kind of wheels and a turquoise interior, which is very cool. Right here, we got not one, but two SF90s. This one's an SF90 Aperto, which is pretty cool. And my personal favorite out of the two is this one in green over gold with a nice brown interior. That's just an always winning combination in my book. Coming up at the front here, it was clearly a Cadillac dealer, or at least a location of it at one point. And it says they're private collection, not open to the public. But that's fine, we'll still look through the window. We got a standard, not like there's really anything standard about it, Veyron. We got the Veyron Pure Sport. This thing is absolutely incredible. And then, the creme de la creme, we got a Chiron, uh, sorry, Chiron Super Sport. Looking towards the back, we have another Veyron uh, Grand Sport, not the Vitesse, just the regular Grand Sport with the uh, drop top. And then we get a Ferrari Enzo, a La Ferrari, a Huracan, and a 720S Spider. This is just an absolutely insane collection. Very rarely ever do you get the chance to see this many Bugattis in one place. Even the Bugatti dealer doesn't have this many. How many more Bugattis can we find tonight? One, two, three maybe? Let's go find it. Alrighty, on to the next step of the hunt. We're here at another dealer sort of complex here in Beverly Hills. And I'm gonna try to keep my eye just for Bugattis because that's the goal of today's mission. So I'm still gonna point some stuff out, but can't point out too much. Alrighty, first look, I don't see any Bugattis. I do see a 190E Cosworth, which is pretty cool. GTR and Aventador S. All right, now over on this side, we got a lot of other cool stuff. Everything from Rolls Royce to some old cars. We've got some nice 911s and stuff, but no Bugattis. We got another MC20 for the night, but once again, it's not what we're looking for. Although we do have to mention the BMW Z8. That thing's pretty cool. Other McLarens and some fish playing on the screen back there. That's interesting. We'll hunt for some more Bugatti. All right, now over on this side, we got all the McLarens and Lamborghinis, multiple Huracans and SBJs, even Ferrari here, but still no Bugattis. All right, we've made it to a new hunting spot and again, no more Bugattis. I'm starting to think that maybe all the Bugattis have gone to one location, which is pretty weird. Especially considering they're all obviously from different owners, or at least different companies that own them. But at least we have Pagani Waira 720S. We got a, I'm not sure that's an SV in the back or in a normal Aventador. We got a, I believe it's a Gunther Works 911, LaFerrari GT2, and then a, a GT3 Touring, the 992 generation. Let's go check the Bugatti dealer and see what that looks like. All right, we've reached one of our final hunting spots and still doesn't look like there's any Bugattis. However, there's some pretty cool stuff. We got a <laughs> McLaren Senna XP. We have another McLaren Senna. I don't know if that's the XP, but definitely a race car. We have a <laughs> McLaren P1 GTR. 
We have a McLaren Sabre. We have a McLaren 765 LT Spider. We have a McLaren Elva, another LT Spider, and a Speed Tail. Not too shabby. It looks like there's a 765 LT right outside. What a lineup. Well, found another McLaren Senna. But however, in the Koenigsegg and Bugatti section, empty. Kinda weird. Not sure where they all went. I mean, I guess over there. Very strange though. All right, so I must say, I wasn't too hopeful of seeing another Bugatti, but alas, the gods of the Beverly Hills car spotting scene have blessed me with a really cool one. I'll show you. All right, they don't really want me looking here, but check that out. We've got a Bugatti Chiron with a roof rack. This is a perfect sixth Bugatti for the day. And look who it's owned by, the Hamilton Collection. These guys are the real deal. I don't know if I trust the <laughs> suction cups to hold that on my roof, but not bad.